welcome to what is usually named York Road, but today it's the JJ Rattican Stadium for Maidenhead's last home game of the season against Gateshead in the National League. I'm Michael Shapiro, your commentator, and it's a pleasure to have alongside me Maidenhead's media manager, Jack Stroudley, who's making his commentary debut today, standing in for Keith Higgins, having a well-earned break off. If there's ever such a time to find form, it's in the final stretch of the season, and Maidenhead have done just that. With the trap door looking like it was about to open only five games ago, with the Magpies hovering dangerously only one point above relegation, a run of three wins and one draw in their four games since has seen Alan Devonshire's side make giant strides towards safety. They are now eight points clear of the drop zone, and even though they're not mathematically safe yet, it would take a strange turn of events to deny the Magpies another year in the National League. And here they are again now. They've earned their first corner of the match as Sam Barrett comes across to take it for the home side. Whipped in. Oh, and Kolsky was so close on getting on the end of that. They just about managed to clear, and it's headed back across by Clarima, and that's going to be out for a goal kick. for Loco, it's broken for Petit, who hits it first time, but it would have taken some effort to find the goal there. It goes harmlessly wide. Both Clarima and Loco are in there. It's Clarima that does win the header for that one. Goes over the top. Chris Smith, can he add to his tally today? Whelan, nice ball there. Hannett's got a bit of space here as he drives into the Maidenhead half. But the ball... It's Hannett again, and that's quite a tame one into the arms of Ross. This time it's not a long throw. And Smith almost got on the end of that. And the goalkeeper came and just about got there. At the feet of Bruce Smith. And a bit of a... Tussle there by Beckwith and Denango, and that's the free kick's going to go Maidenhead's way there. And a chance for Maidenhead to break forward. Smith. Crosses that one in, and Bukowski almost getting on the end of that one. Not quite a chance there for Maidenhead. And throws that one in. Who's the son of uh, Simon Grayson? Who played for Leicester, I believe. Leeds. Yes, Denango almost breaks. It's fallen to Whelan, who hit it so well. But what a fantastic clearance off the line by Beckwith there for Maidenhead. Yeah, what a, what a clearance that is from Sam Beckwith. That's really the first time that Gateshead have truly threatened. Denanga done well to get, you know, past his man. I think it was Loco, and then the ball eventually came out, and it was a really vital block for Beckford there. That would have been one nil otherwise. Yeah, this is Hayden Mikulski, obviously, coming back into the side today, following his goal on Tuesday night. Hasn't really had the service so far. See, there was the one ball over, which just evaded him, but he's been a little bit isolated so far, I'd say, Mikulski. Yeah. Ball's come across and speaking Mikulski there, he almost <laughs> had a chance to give his side the lead, but he drags that one wide. So it'll be interesting to see as this game progresses whether or not Tristan Abraham will come on to potentially support him up top or Alan Devonshire will stick to his trusted formation. But it's Gateshead who are in the attack now and it's cut back nicely and it's somehow it was hit by McBride and it came back off his own player, Denanga. Bizarre turn of events, but that was going straight in. And, oh, it, in fact, the flag's gone up anyway, so that wouldn't have counted. I think Main Ned will be grateful for this half-time whistle. Gates said really starting to come into things now with some chances. Yes, they are, but they have a chance of their own now. They break forward. Can they find one right before the break? Oh, Oh, it's broken to Mikowski and it's just, just gone wide, but the offside flag is up. It looked like it was almost going to break for Smith, and then it, it was Mikowski there with the chant. 
Gateshead, of course, have the FA Trophy final to look forward to on the 11th of May, where they'll play Solihull Moors. It's their second consecutive final, having lost last season's to Halifax 1 0. They'll be looking to rectify that and finally get their hands on the trophy. But it means they've got a very cluttered fixture list, which we discussed in the first half. And they have a lot of games to fit in to the end of this season, having gone on a cup run. They'll also be over, and it's not the only Wembley trip they make this season. That is true. The, <laughs> the playoff final. Yeah, of course. Zari. A sloppy pass, and Denanga has it. He was looking, thinking he was offside, and he's put the ball in the net, but the offside flag was up. He was looking across. It must have been a late flag because they continued playing. And, well, I would say Maiden had been let, let off the hook, but it looked like he was just off there. Yeah, it almost fell from there. It was a, it was a lovely touch from, from Tom Allen, but just a little bit out of his reach, and Zico Asari does well to recover. George, you can strike them from here. Can he find a bit of space? Back to Petit. Petit! And that was a great chance. But it's a relatively straightforward save in the end for Harness. Crossfield ball by Grayson. Good ball there. Finding Hannon on the far side. And it's Wheeler. Back to Hannon. Good football here. And it's still Gateshead, and McBride goes down in the area, and that's a penalty. And it did look like he was clipped there. And he gives Gateshead the lead. It's Hannon, and he puts it away nicely, and he gives the visitors the lead. Great penalty there. Ross went the wrong way, nowhere near it. And Gateshead go 1-0 up here. And Maidenhead now have to try and come back into this game. It's Hannon with the ball in. And that's a dangerous ball. And somehow Ross comes across to save it at the, free, the feet of Story. Story almost put in a ball. Well, it's struck by Francis there. And that one goes straight into the arms of Ross. Yeah, it's another brilliant delivery into the box there. And it, it came to Louis Story. And Ross comes and kind of smothers it out. who comes forward here. And he's got two men on him. He's going to have to do it all himself because there's no support. But Maidenhead support are coming now. And it's Mitchell Lawson breaking into the lock box. And Mikulski did well to get that ball across there. But no one's on the end of it. He really did well there, Mikulski, considering. Pride. Finds a bit of space to Allen. Cuts it back in and then drives it with his left boot, but that's not troubling the goalkeeper there. It goes high and wide. They're just comfortable to just retain possession and keep the ball. They've obviously got the 1 0 lead. There's no real urgency at the moment from them. Whelan. And he's found Denanga, who strikes it. And it's straight at Ross, but really there. That should have been two. And then he launched in. Nodded away by Mitchell Lawson and struck there on the edge of the box. And once again, it's hit well. I think it was Story there, but Ross saved that relatively comfortably in the end, even though it was hit with some venom. Ollie. Substitute for that one just runs straight through. There's Maidenhead fans, you can hear, trying to get their team going. Chanting Maidenhead United as it's crossed in. Massey wins the header back across to Loco, and he does get it! He levels the game! Against the run of play, Gateshead have been the team on top. But Maidenhead have found the breakthrough. And
and it's now 1-1 here. They're right back in the game. Well, it's a, it's a great delivery in there into the box. It falls to Alan Massey, the all people who heads it back across. And I mean, the header from Kevin Locko is fantastic. It's right in that top corner. Nathan Harness, he does get a hand to it, but it's too far in that corner. He can't do enough and made the United, as you mentioned, against the run of play, but they are back in it. it should be a very important point if they can hold on to this. But Brown might have other things to say about that. It's still Brown, he's cleared through, and he strikes it well, and a very good save by Ross there. Good reason, obviously, they're looking to push for a winner here. Struck there, struck well, but high by Whelan there. Closing down well, working hard for the team. They know they're just a few minutes away. And can Mikulski break? He can. He's going to be one on one with the goalkeeper here. A bit of a heavy touch, but he's sealed it. He's sealed it for the Magpies. And the Magpies, well, they can hold on to this. The last few minutes, they will be mathematically safe this season. And they will be a National League team next season. Well, Sean Mikulski, this is what he does for them in his last few games. He, he battles so hard there to get the ball, and it's a little bit of a slip from the Gateshead defender, but Mikulski's still got an awful lot to do. It's a little bit of a heavy touch round Harness, but he does so well, and it's a fantastic strike. And, you know, if Maine they can hold on to this now in these last few minutes, they will be safe. What a huge goal this could be from Sean Mikulski. game out now. It's Gateshead just trying to find that equaliser. Will they break some of the hearts of the Maidenhead fans? And Story fired that one across. And well intercepted, Petit, good tackle there, strong challenge. And Maidenhead now have a chance to wrap things up. Abrahams, no real support, it goes alone and it's well saved and he tries to get the rebound and he earns a corner from the side and I don't think they'll be in a rush to take this one. Smith tries to get that one under control, it's spread out to Whelan, I'm not sure why the referee hasn't quite blown yet. Struck low and that one goes wide and that will probably be the last kick of the game. Yeah! And the referee's blown. It's music to the ears of all Maidenhead fans. Maidenhead will be a National League side next season. The first, the second half started with a goal for the away side. Hannon will put the penalty away on 55 minutes following a clumsy challenge by the Haviland. But Loco rose late and equalised with a header with around 10 minutes to go following a petite free kick. And Mikowski wrapped up the win when he went clean through on goal and rounded the goalkeeper and slotted it in. Jack, any thoughts on today's match? Well, uh, what, a, what a second half that was. It kind of it had everything. Gates said, you know, controlling possession, lots of spells with it, scored from the penalty and had opportunities to get a second. And then, you know, you look at... You know, Maidenhead, they made a tactical switch and the first goal from Locker and then McCausey does so well for the second and, you know, now Maidenhead secure their National League status and what a way to do it. Yeah, and there's Alan Devonshire just embracing the players, giving a wave to the fans. He'll be delighted on his birthday that Maidenhead have got three points and will be in this league next season. But that's it for today. Thank you to my co-commentator, Jack Stroudley, who did a fine job on his debut, plus a big thanks to our cameraman, Bernard. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone who's been watching and for all your support throughout the season. We'll see you again at York Road soon. The final score here is Maidenhead 2, Gateshead 1.